congratulations, class of 2022. I would like to begin by thanking my accomplished peers, professors, alumni, and all of the family members and guests for being with us here today. On behalf of the important role you all have played in getting us to graduation today, I would like to share a quote from one of my personal heroes, author, educator, and humanitarian John Green. The courses of our lives were shaped by those moments we shared upstream. I'm sure I can speak for all my fellow graduates when I say that without all your wisdom, guidance, and support, none of us would be here today. And I thought that being at an Earth and Environmental Sciences graduation ceremony, it was only fitting that I opened with a quote about a river. I've heard you guys like that kind of stuff, so don't worry, there's more coming up later. <laughs> for the past two years, I have served as the president of the Society of Earth and Environmental Science Students, also known as SEATS. Because of this, a few weeks ago, I attended the Admitted Students Day events. As an endless stream of parents and students came up to me, though, let's be honest, it was the parents talking more than the students. And look how much we've grown. Now we're the ones showing our family members around. <laughs> Anyways, as the parents stopped at my table, I would go on to repeat the same spiel over and over about the club and the department. And it went a little something like this. One unique and interesting thing about majors in the ES department is that your schedule is so flexible. It's designed so that you can take any of a broad range of classes in whatever order you want. This has a lot of benefits being able to tailor your course load to your interests, but one negative is that it can be hard to get to know who your peers are. Unlike some other majors that have a more strict program where all of the students are together as they move through their courses. So that's then the job of C's to get the students together by having events related to our common interests and furthering that connection to the rest of the department as well. Together with our small class sizes, this helps build the close-knit department, which I know none of us would be here without. Thank you again to our wonderful professors for developing and teaching those courses that have ignited the passion in us all. For the longest time, I've known I've wanted to be a science teacher but I never knew what kind until my classes here spiked my interest in earth science. A few weeks after the end of my sophomore year, after I took the course Evolution of the Earth, shout out Lori, um, <laughs> I was watching a science YouTube video because I'm the kind of nerd that does those sorts of things for fun. And I remember being able to identify the crinoid fossils on the screen before they mentioned them in the video. It felt like the moment when you're watching Jeopardy and you yell out the right answer. Nobody else is around to hear you do it, or cares at all, but it felt good. <laughs> and this felt even better because I finally felt how what I'm learning in my classes can connect to my real life. Since then, my interest in earth science has only grown. After graduating, I will begin studying to be an earth science teacher at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. So, it only felt right that I should teach you all some earth science. And I'm looking at you, families of graduates. <laughs> I'd like you to picture a river. I'm sure you're picturing some sort of flowing water following a channel that's been carved down in the rock, right? Okay. So now we'll share with you something we discussed this past semester in my Earth Surface Processes class. Thanks, Rachel. Um, though a channel has been carved down in the rock, possibly over dozens of millions of years, that does not mean the river will follow that does not mean the river will follow that course forever. The channel does not control the water, but the water creates the channel. As we finish our career at this university, we all have our degrees we've completed, the extracurriculars we've participated in, research we've done, awards, recognitions, conferences we've attended, plenty that goes onto our resumes. It may seem like we've carved out a pretty solid path for ourselves, and as we begin to flow through the rest of our lives, we may start by following that path. In a river, channel evolution, or a river changing its course, can take thousands of years or happen in as quickly as 24 hours. If the path you have starts not to work out for you, remember that it doesn't have to be forever. Success is not measured by how well you stick to the one thing you learned about in college. So just go with the flow. Do your own thing, no matter what that may be. Leave behind those oxbow lakes of your past. <laughs> Blood, meander, and you'll carve out a new path eventually. Thank you. <laughs>